want to come out of the hold once again in 10 seconds. 9 minutes and counting. Your orbiter axis arm can be moved back into position in about 30 seconds should there be an emergency. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Go for main engines. The heads down, wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride of London. Heads throttle back now in a three step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the orbiter as it breaks through the sound barrier. 45 seconds into the flight, the main engine soon to begin to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. The main engines, along with the three fuel cells and three hydraulic power units, all functioning normally. Acknowledged by Commander Jim Weatherby, joined on the flight deck by pilot Paul Lockhart, flight engineer John Harrington, and mission specialist Mike Lopez Alegria. Expedition 6 crew Ken Bowersox, Nikolai Budarin, and Don Pettit seated down on the mid deck headed for their new home in space. just went out. 3-3, uh, three, three, however, is still in and forecast to be in. So we're uh, just let you know we're thinking 3-3 three, three again. Okay, we'll reload and maneuver. Currently targeted runway is Edwards 3-3. Three, three. That's the lake bed runway. Traveling Mach 5 or 3,500 miles per hour. 
Altitude now 124,000 feet, descending at a rate of 290 feet per second. At 132,000 feet. Descending at a rate of 279 feet per second. Descending at a rate of 200 feet per second. Now converging on the center line of runway 33 at Edwards Air Force Base. 45 seconds. Landing gear now down and locked. Main gear touchdown, nose gear touchdown. It's now rolling out on Edwards Runway 33. Wheel stop, Houston. Copy wheel stop. Steve, you and your crew did it all and you made it look easy. Congratulations on a great job. No post-landing deltas right now. Thank you. 